Hi, I'm Kai, and a little while back I made this damage tool thing that lets you click on things to quickly break them or fix them. Well today, I bring you a sort of sequel to that. Allow me to introduce the move tool. So if I press N, it'll open up a new menu, and now I can click on things and move them around. So I can move this building if I want, I can move around dinosaur if I grab one, there it is, you live here now I've decided. And now here. <laughs> it just makes dealing with sandbox mode a little bit easier, I think. But that's not all there is to it. So as you can see from the menu, there's a whole bunch of stuff at the bottom. So if I were to again grab this building here, I can now hold control to move it up or down. So I can make it float up in the sky, or I can put it underground, if that's what I wanted to do. I think it still works. It probably still works. Or I can grab it, pull it up, and then hold X to rotate around the X-axis, Z to rotate around the Z-axis, and Y to rotate around the Y-axis. And I could place that there. Or if I didn't like what I did, I say you rotate it a little bit, and I think that looks awful for some reason, whereas that looks fine apparently, I can press Shift and that will reset it. Or if I read the screwed up, I can press Space and that will reset it to the world origin direction, if that's the right way to put it. It's the default direction every building faces, so if I were to press space on that, you'll see it faces the same way as this building. This does also make it easier to break your terrors out. You can hatch them, click on them, place them here-ish, and that's where it lives now. Get back in there. Now this height thing doesn't work on everything. It works on all the main buildings, I think and most or half of the senior items. So if I were to say, I don't know, place this and this and I don't know, that and that, but that looks cool too. You see if I press N again and then move this up and leave it, that stays. If I move this, that stays. This, that stays. This, nope, that'll reset. Same with rocks. If I were to move a rock up, it'll just reset. Editing me coming in just to say that you can rotate all the objects, you just can't raise or sink some of them. I'm not entirely sure what this is based on, it might be the building structure so I might be able to fix it or I might not, but either way it does still add a lot of variety to your building style. So I can for example move this box over here, rotate it around a little bit, the sign next to it, rotate that a little bit, rest it against the box for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this now. Now the move tool doesn't work on everything, so it needs to be one, selectable, so paths, they don't work right now. I might be able to fix that actually, uh, but right now they don't work. Physics objects, like vehicles, if I were to move one, it'll just reset because the physics simulation is sort of overriding that. And that physics thing also applies to dead bodies, so dead bodies, I cannot move, because the physics sort of takes over. Now there's one more thing I wanted to show you because it's kind of funny. If I place a para with those dinos, Start chasing it a little bit, hopefully. Whenever they feel like it. Go on. There they go. So if I grab it, I can move it around a little bit. <laughs> nah, he's over here now. And he's back over here. It's kind of laggy because I'm recording and this is teleporting him all the time. And back here we go. And back over this way. <laughs> this is stupid. Another cool thing, by the way, if they jump on it, and I grab it, it'll throw them off, or I can grab the dinos themselves. Go on, get off, get off. There you go. It's kind of weird, but I don't know, it's pretty cool. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, one more cool thing, snap points stay. So if I were to grab the Satchery, it moves everything that comes with it. And yeah, that about does it, I think. 